Hello, welcome to this week's Midweek Connection. My name is Todd Jordan. I serve as senior pastor here at Strawbridge United Methodist Church. I'm delighted that you've joined me. Uh, there are a lot of conversations happening now around artificial intelligence or AI, and a lot of those conversations are framed around this idea that just because you can doesn't mean that you necessarily should. Um, I know uh, there's a lot of emerging technologies associated with AI, and a lot of smart and important people are weighing in with a lot of smart and important observations, thoughts, questions, and concerns. Uh, we're hearing uh, voices from the technology sector, from the corporate world, uh, from legislators and lawmakers, uh, as well as uh, educators and so on. Sadly, as of yet, I have not heard um, anything from the church or from theologians. Um, and so I want to humbly offer my perspective. Um, most Christians, including United Methodists, believe in a doctrine called total depravity. Uh, that's a bit of an archaic term, not heard you so much now, but it uh, describes something very real and present in our world, in, in, in humanity. Um, it basically is a term to describe the brokenness that is in humanity, um, an explanation of why in spite of our best efforts, we always find a way to mess things up. Um, the biblical foundation for this belief can be found in Genesis chapter 3. Uh, that's the story of Adam and Eve helping themselves to the forbidden fruit after, be war after being warned against this uh, from God. Uh, the truth is, uh, we're just not wired right. Um, we stray, we want what we want, and we'll do whatever we want in order to get it. Uh, we're like lost sheep, we just follow the greenest grass, uh, wherever it leads, regardless of consequence. And as people of faith, um, we often, um, in spite of our best efforts, again, uh, we oppose God by our thought, word, and deed. Uh, we call this sin. And um, if uh, we don't like that, then oftentimes we simply craft a new God in our own image and in our own liking and to be able to do what we want to do in spite of what we say we believe. Um, down deep inside, as humans, we are broken and we are hurt. And in our brokenness and in our hurt, we break and we hurt others. And this brokenness is not only passed down from one generation to the next. None of us are exempt of sin. Um, it's passed on to everything that we build and create, uh, including but not limited to our structures, our institutions, and our systems. Everything we do is necessarily tainted with and by sin. And so every invention ever made you'll notice that someone figures out a way uh, to use it for selfish, diabolical, mischie mischievous, or downright destructive purposes. Which brings us to our conversation around artificial intelligence and emerging technologies surrounding it. Uh, now, I'm not going to flat out condemn it. Um, or say that there is no benefit or ever never will be any benefit to it. However, I certainly would echo uh, all of the warnings that we're hearing from some of the very innovators and creators of AI, um, that there must be regulations and there must be boundaries to this and all future technologies. Uh, the more powerful the invention, the more powerful the technology, uh, the more potential for future and possible harm. So I would also add to the, um, the conversation around AI some important questions like, uh, as we're talking about regulations, do we even know enough about AI right now and all of its future implications, ripple effects, and fallout to know what those regulations should be? Um, how do you regulate something when you don't fully understand it or fully understand uh, its potential for good or for harm. And finally, who will finally be the ones to regulate the technology of, of AI uh, within the United States? And who will oversee those uh, regulators? And what do we do about 
those outside the U.S., whether it's uh, foreign governments or individual entities outside the U.S., this technology is clearly not limited to a geographical border. Um, with new technology come new consequences. And much good and uh, can come of this technology and probably will. And much harm can and probably will come of it as well. And so I guess ultimately I would pray that the church will have a voice in the conversation around AI and emerging technologies. And I would also pray that the church has not already lost so much relevance in society that if our voice is offered, it will go unheard. Let those with ears to hear listen. May God bless you, and I look forward to seeing you in worship this Sunday, either at 9 a.m. for our choir-led worship service or at 11.05 with our band-led service. May God bless you.